I'm Amy Groves. I am your student's English teacher this year at Bentonville West. Kids, if you are watching this, this is actually meant for your parents. It's the Meet the Teacher video. So you can pause or you can keep watching. On Tuesday, all of your teachers will have Meet the Teacher videos posted. So that's what this is for. You can go ahead and hand it off to your parent if you want, that's fine too. So just a little bit about me. This is my ninth year at Bentonville Public Schools. I love it. I love teaching freshmen. They are my preferred age group. You guys are fun and everything is new and you are so ready to be in high school. And I love that excitement that you bring with you. Um, a little bit more about me. I am married. I have a son who is a year and a half and he is a handful. So coming to school and working with these teenagers is my breath of fresh air and I get so much energy from them. So it's a great career choice for me and hopefully will be a good experience for your students as well. About our course. So this is English One Pre-AP with embedded personal communication. It's a mouthful. What it really means is this is a dual credit course. The first and primary course that your child is taking is Pre-AP English. The second course, which is worth half a credit, is personal communication. Now, you will always see the Pre-AP English gradebook. You won't always see the communication gradebook. It doesn't pop up until the second semester, but the grades for communication are gathered between both semesters. You also won't see any grades in communication until the very end of the year, but it's a real grade book and it exists. It's just hidden from student view because it gets really complicated for them to understand the breakdown of the grades over this extended period of time. But they can come and ask me how they're doing anytime. And of course, I'll keep them updated. So for the English portion of this class, the main units that we follow, we have four units and our first one is narrative. Our second unit is character analysis. Our third unit is literary analysis, and our fourth unit is rhetorical analysis. So in narrative analysis, our main focus this year is gonna be a whole bunch of really interesting and diverse short stories. In our second unit, which is character analysis, we're gonna be focusing on one main text, which this year is gonna be To Kill a Mockingbird, with several different, <clears throat> excuse me, secondary texts and pieces to draw into it to get a, diver a diverse, um, variety of views. And then our third unit, which is literary analysis, is Shakespeare. It's Romeo and Juliet. It's a classic ninth grade favorite. Uh, parents, maybe you remember reading Romeo and Juliet in the ninth grade. It's always fun. So we're going to jump into that in January. And then our fourth unit is rhetorical analysis. This is where we teach the kids how to argue well. So this is where you need to be watching out at home if they start making their points very clearly, then it means that what I have done is working. And so you're going to have to learn to argue very well right back. So that's our fourth unit. And a little bit about the personal communication part of it. That grade is calculated by having different types of presentations in each unit that fit pretty seamlessly in and learning how to discuss these complex topics that pop up whenever you are studying literature and really helping them be able to be fluent with their thoughts and to have a really adult conversations. So that's where that personal communication comes in. Um, let's see, to talk a little bit about the procedures in our classroom, we are following standard COVID-19 procedures, including spacing and mask wearing um, and rules regarding um, sharing supplies and how close you can get to each other. And so we're doing the best we, that we can with all those requirements. Um, a little bit of help that you could give us at home is just to continue to encourage mask wearing, but I have seen nothing but respect from these kids and they've been doing a great job. Um, to wrap up, just the last thing, if you need to contact me at all this school year, my email is probably the fastest way to get a hold of me. It's a groves, G-R-O-V-E-S, at Bentonville K-12. Dot org. That'll be the fastest way to get a hold of me. Um, but of course, you can send a note through your child or you can send a note through the office to be patched through. But I am here for any of the questions that you have, especially during this uncertain time. Anything that I can help you with, I am 100% here for. I am hoping that we can stay in this building together. 
all year because I love seeing your students and they were so ready to come back. So thank you for sending them. I'm so glad to be with them. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right, thanks you guys.